Hey everybody, uh, it's uh, currently now midnight. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, um, I guess I should get on the road then. Um, talk about what I saw. So, um, yeah, okay, let me just. Okay, so, um, uh, oh. all right, so, um, I just got out of the film, uh, Gifted, which, uh, for those who don't know, um, it's the, uh, it, it's the film starring Chris Evans, Octavia Spen and Octavia Spencer, and Jenny, and Jenny Slate, um, about Chris Evans taking care of his niece, uh, after his late sister. And it's, uh, also directed by, um, uh, it, it, the film's basically about this, uh, child prodigy. And it goes into, like, a, a custody battle between, uh, Evans and, uh, his mother over who gets to take care of this child, like, um, um, uh, one of the re- I wanted to get around to it, cause, uh, um, uh, when it was still in, like, a, uh, still playing in, like, mainstream theaters, was, um, because it was directed by Mark Webb, who, if you don't know, is the man who directed 500 Days of Summer, which is my all-time favorite movie, and, um, I didn't get around to it because I got, uh, complicated with a lot of other shit going on, uh, with, uh, life and classes, but, uh, this one, um, uh, th this one I was lucky enough to get around to at, uh, the discount theater, uh, so luckily I only had to pay, like, two bucks, so there's that, um, but, yeah, I gotta say, uh, the film, it did not disappoint. I, I didn't see any trailers for it, so I didn't know, uh, what the whole gist of the plot was gonna be, but with what I was given, I was, I was really satisfied. I, uh, I, I love the performances, uh, Chris Evans and Octavia Spencer, fantastic, they, they really don't disappoint, um, The uh, uh, Jenny Slate is extremely likable as the teacher. Um, uh, <laughs> sorry if I'm not really giving anything out. Um, it's mostly just because I'm just like really tired right now. It's like it's practice. I mean, like I said, it's midnight, and I'm just. I'm trying to do with what I can, um, while, while focusing on the road, uh, but yeah, just, just looking at it, it's, it's, it's definitely a really solid film about, you know, um, you know, challenging of what's really important, like, you know, having a child prodigy extend her gifts even further, or giving her the freedom to, you know, be a child, and, It's really a compelling story. It's really a compelling story that I think a lot of parents can get invested in, especially like you know, just trying to find a balance of what they would believe is right for the child. Um, and I think with this film, especially with uh, the subject of the parents taken out, it really brings up that question: like, what, who really does believe? what the original parent had, the, the brother, or, or I mean the, the sibling or the, or the parents of the passing parent. And I gotta say, uh, the, the, the actress who they got to play, uh, Chris Evans' niece, uh, I, I, I was really impressed with her, like, <laughs> like, sometimes 
there there are some films that kind of portray children as like not not the best or just don't portray them in a realistic way but um like with uh it's a good example like uh, the diary of one big kid movies it's like I, I don't really buy them as kids i just kind of buy them as just like what adults think kids are but this film doesn't do that this this doesn't sh this it doesn't because you know it's like okay we got this we got a character who's sort of a child prodigy who's been raised not by her mother so let's kind of make her into a bit of a smart ass and it to the film's credit it uh it really works i i really got a kick out of her dialogue uh, um, for me, I think one of the funnier scenes in the movie is when she catches her teacher, uh, leaving her, uh, uh, leaving, um, uh, the house, so it kind of indicates that, you know, um, she and, uh, uh, she kind of puts together, it's like, oh, she's sleeping with my uncle. I, I, and she just gives, like, this remark, like, good morning, teacher. She, I really got a kick of that, and it, it kind of reminded me uh, a bit of 500 Days of Summer because Mark Webb has, uh, since, because uh, uh, Mark Webb really knows how to, how to direct children and, you know, kind of portrays them in a smart-ass way, like, uh, uh, like he did uh, with uh, Chloe Grace Moretz, who played uh, Justin Gordon-Lovett's sister in the movie, which... Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, and uh, for I have to say, there there were definitely a lot of moments where it did uh, get me get me teary eyed. Uh, being a story about a uh, uh, you know. Who, who ends up uh, caring for this child. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think I have much else to say. It's Except uh, if you get a chance, definitely go give it a watch. Uh, um, <laughs> well, what's kind of interesting is um, I, I usually don't always go to this uh, discount theater, uh, but... What was interesting is that a lot of the trailers uh, that I got were, uh, I mean, I missed like probably one or two, but most of the trailers that I went in and saw, almost all of them were already out, like uh, uh, Kong Skull Island, Fate of the Furious, um, what else was there? Uh... Yeah, I think that I think that was all like all that they show, all, all, the only trailers that I remember. Um Yeah, um Yeah, I think that's all I got to say. Um if you've still got a theater playing it, uh definitely go see Gifted. I recommend it. Uh or if anything, um it's a uh, it's probably most likely going to be on a uh, Blu-ray within like a about, a about a month or so maybe I, I don't know I have to double check uh, when it's coming out uh, but yeah that's pretty much all I got to say so uh, yeah peace